Christ, the royal master, leads against the foe. Forward into battle, see his banners go. This is Cindy Sekiguchi, A Cup of Devotion, Hymns and Scriptures for Troubled Times. Today's hymn, Onward Christian Soldiers. The scripture, 2 Timothy 4, 18. And the Lord will deliver me from every evil work and preserve me for his heavenly kingdom. To him be glory forever and ever. Amen. Let's take a closer look. The Lord, the unchangeable I am, will free the individual from every evil work. He will remove the enemy's hand and transfer the child of God into his hand when he surrenders his will to God's will. To submit to another person is incredibly difficult for most people. To submit to an unseen ruler, God, is even more of a challenge. Complicating the matter further, Satan, the master deceiver, makes sin appear enticing. And it is, at first. However, everything comes with a price, and the price of sin is paid in the end. Ravi Zacharias, in the book, The Problem with Pleasure, makes it clear that, and I quote, all pleasure must be bought at the price of pain. For true pleasure, it must be bought before you enjoy it. For false pleasure, the price is paid after you enjoy it. End of quote. The Lord's faithful follower pays up front when he surrenders his will to God's will. Surrender, evidenced by obedience to God and faith in his word, while on earth, the child of God is engaged in a spiritual battle. Though persecutions may arise and friends depart, the believer is exhorted to lift high his banner and identify with the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. In heaven, the battle will cease, the victory won, and the believer will reign with perfect love and peace in glory with Christ. Onward Christian Soldiers was written for children carrying banners from one community to the next. In wartime, a banner, or flag, is used to build morale, identify friends or foes, communicate, commemorate, and more. The one who carries it must exemplify great bravery, for they are the first to face the enemy. They cannot turn and run. Today, as we engage in spiritual warfare, we carry a spiritual banner, unseen by the natural eye, compelling us onward in our inner person as we press toward the goal for the prize of the upward call of God in Christ Jesus. Philippians 3.14 Let us lift high our banner today, employ our faith as we surrender to His leadership, and allow Him to communicate to our hearts more clearly than ever. Are you lifting high your spiritual banner in the warfare you are engaged in today? This is the day to dust off that banner, lift it high, and proclaim your allegiance to Christ like never before. How can you live out your faith in the great I Am as you face the battle that is yours to fight this day? Christ, the royal master, leads against the foe. Forward into battle, see his banner go.